Hello, hello, good afternoon, how are you? Hey, so excited to be here with you. I see we have Kim and Deb and Katie with us, Lori with us, Alma, oh, so good to see you. Thank you very much for joining us this, in this afternoon of, you know, fun. I hope I can inspire you today to, you know, have lots of fun. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, let me know if you can hear me very well. Just give me, you know, a thumbs up if it is all okay. I'm so excited we are. Today is Thursday, July the 20th, and I have great things here on my table that I want to show to you. And maybe, I don't know, let's see if we can start a conversation about something a little different as well. Of course, I'm not trying to replace any of the things that we are doing, but kind of the opposite and just add the fun you know to the to the to the party hello okay okay everybody can hear me very well hi becky from indiana we have alma from ohio hi lynn i see you from vermont victoria kentucky hey susan from delaware very good hey patricia thanks Mary, for being here with us that's so amazing so amazing well, thank you so much, you know, thanks so much for being here. And, um, well, what we have this afternoon is a little different, okay? First of all, let me, I don't know if we have new people here uh, to my work, but I'm Claudia Skill, cartonage designer and teacher from Colorway Arts, right? And I have been, you know, sharing this joy of gluing fabric and creating something super unique that are boxes and cases and so many covers so many other things that we can do when we pick cardboard our favorite glue right a favorite fabrics glue and of course following the technique and all the tips and tricks and everything create amazing boxes and other projects but what i have to share with you today is a little different and i haven't sh showed this this box that I'm going to show to you. Uh, actually, what I uh, the the projects I I'm making in the last you know weeks, and I'm so excited gluing. They are not boxes, but the first box I made wasn't using cartonage, and I was gluing gluing fabric. So I was you know uh, playing already with the fabric long ago. And I had no idea that I would be here one day connecting all the dots, you know, of the, my crafting life <laughs> and being, you know, so excited and happy to share this with you. So let's see. Hi, Shelby. I see you, Christy. How are you? Hey, Janet. Glad everything's resolved for you with the new plan. Glad you contact me. Okay. Hi, Peggy. Hi, Marbella. So nice to see you. Okay. So let me show, let's get started right in this way, okay? Uh, well, I invited you for this live because I want to show you some possibilities of, you know, using scraps of fabric. It can be fat quarters or little scraps of fabric or fussy cutting your fabrics, you know, just for little designs. Start looking at your fabrics and searching for something that can be, um, unique and fun and again without sewing <laughs> okay we have so many you know teachers using kind of the similar thing of fussy cutting fabric and you know um sewing and doing and creating so many beautiful quilt arts right and i i really like i have done some and this is here is such another possibility of Cutting your fabric is different, fussy cutting, all those stuff, and without the need of sewing. So this can also, how can I say, increase, add a little bit of fun. And in the other side, can also um, make some, let's say, how can I say, make a lot of kids happy. Okay, so this is not a kid's craft, what I'm going to show you here. It can be. But I believe, I really believe that the first kid, so to, to speak, or the first child that you have, we can, you know, make happy with this technique, it's here. It's living inside us, you know. We all have that inner child, and gluing is so fun. And I think that this technique, oh my goodness, can even increase this fun and make really, really happy 
in Fantastic Fix. <laughs> hey, Lisa, so good you're here live with us. Thank you. Thanks for coming. And hi, Erica. How, how wonderful to see you here. And OK, and the, the projects that I will show in a minute, you will see that we have a variety of things from very simple and very like just playful to others that we can think a little bit more and make a little like more, uh, how can I say, a little better finishing, so to speak. But the main goal of what I'm showing his, this, here this afternoon uh, is actually having fun and allow ourselves to do something that is not straighten it, okay? We can forget for a bit like the one quarter scene or the half an inch, three quarters of an inch and all those things that we have uh, and that we do in our, you know, crafts, even in cardonage, there is a lot of half an inch and, you know, three quarters. And, and if you are cutting your papers, you have to have to be like straighten it. So even I that creates these boxes and make a lot of cardonage and love so much, sometimes I... I like something just to relax, you know, and don't need to measure or don't need to, you know, to really follow an instruction, you know. Okay, what do I have to do that next? Oh, I have to do this. I have to cut here. I have to. It's so good, but there are sometimes that our our inner child or us like we we need something just to relax and okay and laugh, or be in a party with friends and just just have tons of fun gluing and don't be worried if I'm finishing or not. If it is perfect or not, it will not be because I can always keep adding something, you know. So that that's the that's conversation this afternoon. Okay. It's not something that will be the most professional finishing ever, but it will be really, really fun. And then now, hi Patty, good to see you. <laughs> King. Yes, we have to buy another gallon of Luau because that goes a lot as well. And uh, I had, I'm even more excited now because yesterday night we have in the in the shop, my shop here, local shop in Grand Haven. I invited some of my friends, Brazilian friends that live here in the area with kids, their um, daughters. And we had like a little party at the shop, okay? We brought food and, and, and everybody was gluing. And was so nice for everybody, for the kids and for the adults. So it, the pieces were really amazing. I didn't have time to to uh, to send the pictures this morning, but I will probably send an, another email later today or tomorrow. I will include that picture for you to see. So it's so so fun. And, and the most uh, exciting for me when they came to the shop, they said, "Hey, Claudia." I, I'm not crafter, like I, I don't know how to do that. I have never touched glue. I said, that's perfect. That's the point of the people I want in my in my table today. Let's see what we're gonna be, you know, how you feel to do that. And it was really fun. Not as messy as I was expecting to be, okay? How oh, under control is really, really fun. Okay, very good. So before I show you my first box and the guy started into this, fun of gluing fabric in a different, really different way. With little, small pieces of fabric, we can also do our cartonage projects, okay? Uh, yes, what we can do? We probably will have done a lot of bookmarks, little mini sewing kits and um, wallets, little small uh, composition book covers, so many things that we can do. And again, my website, Colorway Arts, if you go to Colorway Arts uh, Learn, for example, take a class, online classes, you'll find my free classes for cartonage if you want to, if you are not gluing yet, using the cartonage technique that is my expertise, so to speak, and my main, you know, what is my craft. And by the way, I'm, I'm designing, I'm in testing, okay, two different projects here in cartonage, okay, so not far from now we're gonna have new projects inside the club and you know for our normal cartonage paint okay so i i was thinking in show but i don't think i will be showing this now just for us not to take time but you can you really see like little post-it covers uh wallets cards um mini sewing kits bookmarks right all using small pieces of fabric Okay, using our cartonage technique. So again, colorwayarts.com and you will see and find so many things and be hopefully you can be inspired. 
But then, let me put this here. Then I was, I was thinking and and looking at my my things that I have been made in the, in the years, and I remember of this box that was actually the first box I I play with because I I didn't make the box. The box was ready, okay, and that probably is about nine or ten years ago because I'm, I'm from Brazil in case you don't know I moved to US, the US in 2012 and I think it was in the same year that I uh, I make this made this box and I started cartonage in 2013 so it was before so here's the box I made okay and uh, take a look over here Okay, so let me see if I can do this now in cartonage. Of course, it's our. If I look at my do-it-yourself kits, is the uh, leader box, right? So let me just change here the camera so for you to see. So what was really this? This is a box that I wood box that I bought. I painted, okay, and I had. I remember sitting there and having lots of fun when I was cutting little squares of fabric, you know and playing with them and gluing outside of this box, okay? So I think that was just the beginning of something that was, how can I say, coming to my to me as inspiration, right? Because I started gluing, cutting fabric even before. And then after that, I discovered cartonage. And so I started gluing fabric, let's say, more professionally, right? Making boxes and covers and math you know and measuring and making drawers and all those all those things and this is what i oh my gosh i love so much i love sharing all of this and though so that's how evolved that that part but then <laughs> I, I was i was now to connect the dots okay to connect the dots so this is right when i i moved to us i started cutting and gluing these fabrics there before when i was living in brazil Probably not many of you know, but uh, I'm a food engineer and I, from the beginning, right? I worked almost 15 years as a food engineer and, and uh, industry, food industry, restaurants, a lot of things. And so when I started my career, so to speak, I, I spent a few days, I, I was doing this. I was working four days in a week and the, the, the other day on Friday, I started because I wasn't, you know, completely happy, so to speak, with my profession, with, with what I was doing. I was looking to something different. And then on Fridays, I found a place there where I was living, where the lady was showing how to, uh, giving classes actually, uh, how to paint ceramic. In Brazil, we call this different, but then I remember I started painting ceramic. That was really my first craft after college. Because when I was young, I was doing a lot of things. Then during college, I forgot that I had, you know, this love for crafting. I stopped everything. I just, you know, went to the food engineer and that was my life. Until I found that I needed that again. And then the ceramic it was the first thing that came to me and gave me, you know, so much joy. I couldn't wait for that Friday. Every Friday I was painting something different. It was really, really, really unique. So for you to have an idea, this, I brought this as well, another thing to connect the dots. This little angel right here, I painted hundreds for our wedding. <laughs> Myself and my husband, both of us together, it was in you know, in the tables and people will uh, bring home as a favor of our wedding. So that was just, you know, a metallic gold, but it was, I even have a picture, more than one of me sitting with an army of, you know, angels, it was so nice. So uh, amazing, a, a great time to like a great memory for me. And that was bringing me, you know, more and more into the crafts again. So then after that, of course, a lot happening. And then I moved to US. And then I, one of the things I, and I forgot about ceramic because, you know, I started doing other things after that because I moved from that city and I couldn't find the same teacher anymore. So I stopped that. So when I moved to here, I started then I made the box that I show with little, little squares. 
And then after that, I started my life with cartonage. And then, you know, you know, since 2014, I'm teaching this and so excited. So this two months, one month ago, I went to Brazil to visit my family. And right when I came in Brazil, like when I arrived there in the airport, they were said there's a new brand of shop selling handmade things from Brazil. And one of the things that catch my attention so much, it was a big, wasn't an angel, was like a Holy Mary, this big, so beautiful, so be incredible, beautiful. It was almost 1,000 reais, but really big, heavy, but the most wonderful thing I have seen, like in, 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 like in, in statues and things like that. All covered in fabrics with pearls, with shiny stuff, with oh my, flowers was so amazing. <laughs> and I couldn't bring that, of course, was heavy, super heavy. I didn't have space for that in my, in my, in my suitcase. So I, when I came here, I was, oh my gosh, you know, when you start thinking of that, I said, oh, that was so beautiful. Something, you know, just start so, uh, how can I say, beating inside of me. So when I came here, I said, oh, maybe I can find ceramic here and try to see if I can glue fabric in ceramic. And that's where everything started. Yes, I did. I did. I start. That was because. And then I bought the first thing I made was a little cat. So I found a little cat in the... Um, on Amazon, actually, the, the piece, right? The, the white ceramic that's also called bisque, right? Because it's not. And then I said, oh, let me start doing that. So that was the first little thing that I made. And then it was so fun. It was so fun because I cut all flowers, you know, I fussy cut. I did a lot of things that are so, so amazing. And I said, oh, I don't want to handle with paint here, for example, to make eyes, all those things. So I just put this shiny, you know, thing and I got so happy and inspired. I think, wow, that's really fun. I really enjoy myself doing this. Can I continue doing that? Like, what else can I do, <laughs> right? And then I found other pieces, different pieces, and start playing, playing with this because I wanted to to be what I can do. And I, I, I was saying this yesterday in the shop. I like to, when I'm doing so, sort of things like that, I'm always thinking, okay, how can I share this? How can I do this easy for others, <laughs> right? And so that's why I'm making more and more samples and creating something a little different. And then I said, oh, that let me share. And then after yesterday, where I see even kids like having tons of fun doing that, I think that's so fun for us just to relax and have fun sometimes. Also for if you have a grand granddaughter, for example, grand even a, a boy would like to do that because we can find cars and so many other ceramic and stuff to play and to, you know, to have so fun. In the, the shop yesterday, we had three kids, so they... They have tons of fun. But again, let me tell you, this is not, I'm not saying that there is just for kids. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Because there are some things that I'll show here that I, I really think that will, I hope it will like inspire you. And again, this is not for everybody. If you feel, oh, that I don't like this, this cloud is going crazy. Okay. <laughs> feel free to turn off your, your, this life. That's okay. But maybe, Maybe it is something that can bring some different, how can I say, experience for you. So that's why I wanted to bring to you a different experience. Or if you have done already, just to maybe improve with some tips and tricks that I will give you or the materials that I will share. But that's really, really nice uh, to do. So let me, that said, let me go and keep showing some of the projects, okay? Let me know in the comments. I, do you want to see more of those? Is, uh, am I crazy or what? What do you, can you see yourself doing this or not? Now let me tell you another thing. Then we, two weeks, last week, we had the members day. That is a day in the shop here in Grand Haven where members can go, members of our club can go for us to do something, just to have fun. And then I invited them to go with me making some ceramics. So two pieces here were made for, from them. Uh, and uh, Katie that works with us, when she started, 
she was very resistant. She said, mm, I don't think I will do that. She was kind of serious. Like I said, mm, this does not look fun, she said. said. Okay, but I mean, I need sample. Just stay here. I have other things to do, she said. I said, but I really need more sample. Just stay here with us. We're going to be laughing because we don't have, it's not right or wrong. We are just having fun in creating. So I got, I gave some guides. I said, do that and that and that. And then we started. So let me show first what she did. Okay. So she enjoyed it so much, so much. And then she was laughing. She was super fun. And then look at what she did. Okay. She created the little dog. Okay, let me show here in details because this is so fun. So she made this one. This fabric is from Laura uh, Laura Birch, if you know. Okay, so we can, it's a lot of fussy cutting, a lot of fussy cutting that you can do. And she picked, you know, the first thing she picked was the best friend that was written that and put here. And then this little, <laughs> in the, in the, in the head. And look what she did right here on the back. So it's so fun. There are so many things that we can do and have fun. And then it's also not, not something that you can, for example, um, start and finish. I didn't start. I think I started and finished one or two others. The others, like I had some time. I had my space there. I made some, glue some parts. And then, you know, when you look at that and you are kind of done for the day, you said, hmm. I don't know how to continue. Then I stop it. And then another day I came, it continued a little bit, right? So that happened with Katty. She made here, and when she she did this part of the fabric, I said, well, you may, are you done with the fabric? Because we don't need to, to go all over. We can do just part and then paint. Yesterday in the shop, one of the, the my friends, she made a cat the same way. She glued some part and the rest she painting. Uh, acrylic metallic silver was so so pretty so then the next day Katie came with watercolor <laughs> uh, paint and she said oh, I'm gonna do the the ears um, blue right and then I glue some eyes because you you would also don't need to kind of how can I say to worry about painting because I'm, for example, I'm not a person that would be confident in painting eyes, but then we can glue those stuff, right? So then I made this one here that is the peacock. So nice. The girls yesterday, they want, two of them made the peacocks. <laughs> so nice. And she put a lot of, they put in the shop yesterday, a lot of uh, shiny stuff. So that there are lots of possibilities, of course, not just this one, a lot more, and that as, as soon as I show here, I will just give you a, a rough idea what how we do. So Don, Donna also was with us in the members' day. She made the little the little tree, right? So so nice. In this case right here, she cut everything kind of really squares, any size. We don't again. There's no right or wrong. There's no ruler in this. You're gonna be, uh, I, uh, there's no you know need of that so you cut all several pieces of scrap and you start like a puzzle gluing and gluing and gluing right so she made this so unique so fun what else i did okay this is one that i made because i want i wanted something a little different to show so for example in this one right here the unicorn i i glue out scraps of this pink one first and then I cut the this was another fabric that I had, like just fussy cut then and glue here. And then I thought, okay, a little bit of gold in this <laughs> unicorn will be good. And here we go, right? So so fun. Another girl yesterday made this one. That was so fun. That really nice. Uh, okay, now the next two ones that I have to show to you. I think these next two ones will bring this maybe to a new level, so to speak. Because to make to make all of this, those here that are more, you know, not that you cannot do the next two ones that I'm going to be showing you or many others, just with little squares or, or stripes of fabric or triangles, you know, anything or just fuzzy cutting and, and doing, there's a lot. Not just this, but uh, you can do 
a little different with pieces a little bit more um, not so little okay so now I'm gonna show one that I uh, I'm I really wanted to make a box to show to you inside the box but I didn't have time but I tested and I I will be making this box or today or tomorrow because I really want the cigar box that we make the cardinal cigar box will fit this angel that I will show you exactly perfectly inside and I think that would be fantastic. So here is, I'm really happy with this. And uh, when I was looking at this angel here, when I made, it was when I connected all the dots, so to speak, because I made this and I felt so good. It was so wonderful to make. And then I remember, oh, I have painted angels <laughs> in my life before a lot. So I said, oh my gosh, that's when I started really connecting the dogs when, how my craft story, right? How one thing brings to another and, and go adding the fun. So it's so nice. Let me show this angel in more details because it's really, really nice. Okay. So here is what I did, is, did in this angel here was the, and, and I have other ideas for, for doing even um, different things for sure. So here the wings, it's just a piece of fabric complete. Here in the dress, I really work it with a little bit of templates, a little bit of stuff to make sure it was all well uh, connected, really, you know, looking into a dress right here. It's just one piece of fabric, okay? While finish on the side so that <laughs> you know that I'm looking for stuff like that, <coughs> sorry, as well. So look at the wings, the, the, the end here. So a lot of things to do here. And then when I came to the head, it was so nice to paint like with some gold, for example, but there are so many possibilities. And the good thing here is that it's not, how can I say? Again, there is no right or wrong. It can completely be done just with small pieces cut like, uh, like uh, any person can do, right? Uh, this one is not difficult. It's just that what I what I have is I have a little bit of how can I say tips and tricks already, you know, that I can share with all of you. So now there is another thing that came yesterday in this class. It was wasn't a class, like was a party, so to speak, and we stayed there for about two hours gluing. Okay, and then I invited my daughter to go with me with the idea that she could help everybody so I could make another sample but when they came there I said uh, you know Clara I said you sit here here's the glue here's the piece I want to make and you have fun gluing and I will have help the others so that's what we did she started gluing and I was looking what she was doing and said mm. and she and she, first she was also resistant she said mm, I don't think I won and then I saw her cutting, fussy cutting, and cutting the fabrics because I gave her the piece with the fabrics. And the fabrics has lots of little beautiful things to start cutting everything. And then I was worried about the lid. I was thinking, how can we do this lid? And then when suddenly she was painting the lid, and then she asked for something else and let me share what she did. It was so fun. I love it. Exactly what I needed to show to you today. So here's what she did, is the little, the small Jacob lantern, right? The Halloween stuff. So she painted the lid that I was, for me was, I was a little worried about the lid, but that's just amazing and perfect. And right here, what she did. So it's really amazing. And so she started going, for example, that she explained to me. Here was just orange that she went into the other fabric that was more purple that she came, you know, going into the, the other one. And here is some, so, some of the fussy cutting and she keep going, putting more fussy cutting and this beautiful one on the top, friend here, right? So <laughs> this is so amazing. I think that, you know, again, something to relax, something to relax to have fun and to do different do different in cartilage we are already doing different with fabrics right we are not sewing we are gluing and now we are still gluing but we are doing something just a little different right and then what i decided to call this i don't know if it is the right name or not i was thinking because i couldn't find any 
exactly related thing to what I'm doing. Uh, I know decoupage, for example, is a word, but it's not exactly what we are doing here. I think that fabric co uh, collage is more appropriate for what we are doing. So I think we can call this kind of ceramic bisque because bisque is actually the correct name of this, um, these white pieces, right? So I think ceramic bisque fabric collage can be a good name for us, right? To play with this for, you know, for those that want, right? So what I decided to do for that is actually, I put in the shop lots of, uh, lots of options of the ceramic pieces. So if you want to try, you can certainly find these pieces in other places, okay? The advantage of having the pieces that we have is that we have samples and we're gonna keep making some samples. And I have one more thing that I want to tell you about this that I was thinking, okay, how can we do that a little bit more? Like, because I do want to keep having fun with this because I really like it, but I have to make more samples and I'd like to explain more details, but not everybody will want to, to hear about this or to make this, right? So how can I do in a way that we can just get started and just talk with those that are really interested in that, right? So I decided, what I decided to do, I will show you just in a minute here, but so far I want to hear from you. How are, do you have any preference? Let me know which one did you like more or uh, you don't like, you can also say, I don't like Claudia. I truly respect you, but I don't like this idea. <laughs> I also want to hear that because that really helps me, you know, guiding my work, right? And in this one, as I, I told you here, the story, if you just came, uh, it really is something that I couldn't not, I, how, I don't know how to say this, I had to do. You know, sometimes there's some, some things that are so strong that you cannot stop thinking, I just had to do it. It was stronger than me, and that's what I started doing. Yes, okay, I'd love to try, it's so sweet, love this idea, yes, um, Oh, yes. Yes, Erica, that's an amazing idea as well. Uh -huh. Susan said that could pick some and just looks like a fun, the angel. Uh -huh. They are all unique. I like them all. I love the angel so much. And then I have, uh, yes, fairy collage in three, yes, in three-dimensional things, right? Yes, because when we are doing cardinage, we can do, but not, we can kind of do like a, a ladder or something, but something like as intricate or so full of details we can. And I cannot wait to make this one. Let me show this one here. I don't know if you can see very well, I think. So, but this is the Santa, right? And I cannot wait to, to make this one, okay? I have some ideas already. That's my next sample whenever I have time because it's almost the same size. Actually, it's a little... Uh, it's a little bigger than the angel, okay? And I also have in the shop a bigger angel that is even big like big like this, the angel. That is the bigger one. I didn't make samples as well so far. So that's really, really fun. Okay, let me see here. I see some questions. Let me see if I can. I can go. Oh, there's one more that I have to share. It's in the other side. I forgot. Uh -huh. And how about this round, round um, uh, purple thing that I show in the Facebook group that I was making? Okay, no one you make it made it right. No, everybody made it wrong. <laughs> That's okay because it's so so different. Let me see. I need to try the pumpkin. Yes, the pumpkin is so fun. In the pumpkin, I was worried about the eyes and the, you know, the nose and the mouth. So I said to Clara that my idea was to start gluing in for inside the piece, right? And then going out the way to cover around. And she tried and she didn't like. So she cut straight with them and suddenly she picked black paint and she was painting black. So it it is, I mean, I would not have done that one so good as Clara did. That's fantastic. Let me see here. Let me see the questions. Okay. Once a week, June says, once a week I teach a craft class at a senior's home. Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. I think this would be a perfect project for many seniors. It will. 
it will just for serious for kids for us for everybody because you can just have fun and relax you know again no right or wrong no rules it's just that we need to practice here our brain and our heart heart and how oh, it's so nice in the small dishes and boxes uh-huh i love the jack o' lantern love this okay good 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 let me see i think i saw one more questions here betsy like the angel in the pumpkin looks fun and unique i don't think it's for me that's okay shelby that's okay but you know what you can start with this hmm? how about you go to walmart myers whatever shop you have close to you i couldn't find i, I even went to dollar tree to see if i could find but they, they didn't have that you know and start gluing this just to feel to see what if it is or not fun okay of course this is just a small vase so it's not you cannot i mean you can have a lot of fun but maybe with something that is more details you can you know play more let's so to speak I love the pumpkin. The fall will begin doing cartonage box. Perfect, John. That's perfect. Oh, are you going to make a quick video on how to do this? I will tell you, Christine, just a minute. Would love to make a nativity. Oh, yes. There's nativity sets as well to purchase. I think I saw on Amazon pieces of that. So one uh, here, one, uh, one beginner tip for you. Some of the pieces that I bought on Amazon was saying ceramic. When I received it, wasn't really this bisque ceramic that is like um, that is not glazed, is not painted. You know, it's just um, is the I don't know the correct word to say this right, but because the one that was I can I receive, I made one. Let me show one that I made. This one here after came from Brazil. So I was so looking because the one I saw there was the Holy Mary. So I was so looking for that and I couldn't find it, but I found a small one. And that's what I did. I used Brazilian fabrics on that. Let me show here to show. But that wasn't the same thing. That was a resin. So it was so difficult to glue, but I, I was really patient and I was able to glue. <laughs> but, you know, and then I'm just finishing with you know, some flowers and whatever I found that was unique for me. But this is not the appropriate one uh, to do for sure. It was really more work than the other ones because I have to keep holding, you know, and all those stuff. Uh, let me see what else. Uh, Christy, I will answer your question in a minute. Would make an activity okay, a small figure in the box. Yes, yes. And that's what I said. I pick my cigar box in this angel it was just perfect inside so i picked my fabric by the way this is a new fabric i brought from brazil but i it's just a bit that i brought and i'll make the box exactly the same fabric and then i'll show you the picture it will be very nice another possibility because i remember lots of my uh, my followers my students made for example boxes to for their ornaments that they made like right coordinating or something like this so I think it will be very unique to make pieces like this and make the box this to, to storage or just, just for the gift, right? Then after that, uh, an angel like that or a piece like that can be, you know, just to stay uh, as a decoration and the box can be used for something else. Yes. Okay, Anna, thanks for saying that. That's what I want to hear. Some people will say, no, that's not for me and that's okay. Great idea. Yes, this would be a fun project for life. Uh-huh. They were glazed. Yeah, the one that I was that is a single firing off clay. Thanks, Judy. Yeah, I was reading about this, these names, right? So bisque is a single firing off the clay. So it's just it's just as the beginning of the process, so to speak, right? And then, then they can keep firing and putting glaze and all those stuff. So in this beginning is when we want because that's when the glue will attach better. So now let me show the purple one that I almost forgot, right? So when I started making them, I wasn't sure where what, where I was going, <laughs> you know? I just thought, uh, I want to cover this, this plate. It was a, a plate, like a planter. It really was a planter pot, okay? Like a plate, actually, that I started. 
And then I said, okay, how can I cover this with fabric? And what am I doing inside? I wanted to fussy cut, but how could I do that? And then I started playing. I just allowed myself for, to be free, you know, to look what I have in fabrics, look at some, you know, designs, some flowers, some birds. And I start cutting them and doing the, my way. And then, and, and then of course, I'm, I'm getting some of the, the tri tricks and things that I wanted. And then actually, I think people are already buying. And then here is what I did. So this is now, let me show in detail here, but this can be, I will can hang on the wall or I can put in some uh, things like this. But exactly this thing can be done, I mean, in so many things, in so many other things, but I thought that uh, something like a plate that's so easy to find in some places can be so useful, right? So this is what I did. Right, so it's just fussy cutting, and this is actually what we do in fabric collage, right? When we are sewing, the difference is that instead of using the thermal paper and iron and all those stuff and then sewing, instead of doing that part, we are in this part right here, I like using copy paper. So I glue my fabrics, just the parts that I want in copy paper, and then I trim, it's perfect, like we can cut very well. And then I started, you know, putting these and these and these and then gluing all, all around. And uh, I also want to find a plate that is not this one that was more, uh, has more inclination as a, for being a plate. It was a little challenge this part. I'm not completely sure. Uh, I think I can find different ways of doing that. But for now, I think I'm very like happy with that. And so another way of growing. And this bird was the last one that I had in the fabric. This fabric is Catalina Estrada that I have in the shop. And the, she has so many beautiful birds and flowers and all those stuff. And I had a piece of fabric at home that I used to make boxes. And I had that little part left, you know, with one bird and a few flowers. And then I'm so, so happy with this. Like, I had so much fun. So this is what I was having fun gluing and doing, okay? So what can we do? Let me see. Love the plate. Need ungla unglazed items. Yes, that's it, the name. Okay, fantastic. So let me show here in the shop where you can find, if you want to start playing with this, how can I uh, show to you how to do, okay? I was thinking, really thinking about this, and uh, the idea is I won't be able to do, for example, lives to show all of them. They are all of the, like, I mean, some of them are very similar. You can just cut squares or tri triangles or stripes and keep going. You know, what, what is the proce process? Passing up. Uh, if you use something like this and your fabric is light, I would first paint with acrylic paints, for example, a white acrylic paint, let it dry and then we start gluing. But if it is our pieces that are already white, you simply start cutting your pieces, applying the glue, the glue can be fur, can be on the piece and then you put your fabric or on the back of the fabric and then you glue whatever you want. So that's the basics, so to speak, okay? And once you have already all done, we're gonna pass something else on the top of this. We have been putting and I have been, even my box 10 years ago, I passed the same glue on the top of the fabric after. So it's all sealed and now protected. But after that, you can use Mod Podge if you prefer, if it is your favorite one. There's another one that I don't know where it is here, but I can find to give you a name another day. That can also be added on the top, like things that can be used for decoupage will be able to use for this as well to protect at the end, right? Yeah, that, that's the kind of glue, Jim, that I'm using, you know? That's kind of glue that I use for everything. That, that's what. <laughs> That's what we can use. Glue all from Elmer's. And what else? Um, a lot of embellishments that you can use. Eyes, bows, like uh, something to put like uh, this shiny, I don't know the name of this shiny stuff that you can buy like uh, 
for embellishment in papers, you know, it's a lot of fun to find embellishments for those as well. So the technique itself, it's simple, very simple. You can start like right now, just making very simple things. When you go into, for example, an angel like that, it would be a little bit more challenge maybe in the world if you want to do like looking very, because if you pick this in your hand, you're gonna look at that and say, wow. Okay, that's what everybody that saw this said, wow. <laughs> so if you want this to be like a wow stuff, I have tons of tips and tricks on that. But then what I decided to do, instead of me here doing a live for a lot of people that maybe are not interested or that I cannot see what you are doing, what I decided to do is a few Zoom meetings, okay? So a few Zoom meetings that people that really want to join could join us and make the piece with me so I can give all the tips, all the tricks, and all, all the things. So I think that's the way I can go because then I don't need to make a video, edit the video, and all those behind the scenes works because I'm working in other things. I'm working in my cartonage things, a lot of things. So I said I can keep going but cannot be something that will take a lot of my time. So that's what I decided to do, to do. I will do Zoom meetings. The first one will be August 8th, okay? And in this first Zoom meeting, to be something simple to start with the basics, okay? And then we're gonna make one of the small pieces. Uh, the intention is a small group, so we can just get together, I can see what you are doing, and the the best thing ever. This is not right or wrong. This is for the experience or having fun. I want you to have the thing that we have in the members day here in the shop. When you have the members day in the shop or yesterday, that was just a playful time. No one was really looking to finish something, something in a time or rushing. We are just having fun. You know, everybody can tell something, you know, tell us how we started crafting, giving tips, and we have fun together and we keep going, okay? So this is what I decided that is the best option. And that's why I'm inviting some of you to do. Now, this is not, I, I as I said, I can't open this for so many, a lot of people. So I cannot say like, say it's a Zoom meeting, everybody can join because I want a personal experience and a small personal experience. So for members of the club, what I will be doing is in, a, in our next Zoom meeting, I will actually pick glue and a small piece and a simple thing, and I will do one or things parts here and give a few tips. If you are just interested in that, that's what we're gonna be doing. Uh, in our next Zoom meeting, one of the things. But now if you want a few more things, a little bit more, let me share what we, what I was thinking and doing. I hope you uh, you like the idea, you know, if you are interested in that. You can learn and do this with your grandkids if you want. It's really fun. Um, here, from beginning. So I decided to call this, <clears throat> let me put my, okay. Good. So I decide, oops, how about I do that first and then this. Okay, now, now it's okay. Okay, so what I, I decided to do, I will call this ceramic bisque fabric collage circle just because it's a, something that we're going to have a circle of pieces. That's what I imagine, a group of people that will like and enjoy gluing fabric and ceramic here and there and have fun. So that's my invitation, right? Maybe that's for you, maybe not, but I hope you can get inspired with that. So the idea is that uh, when you join us, okay, I can't, I can't do that for free because it will be a time, my time, and I will give a lot of tips and tricks and I have a limited number of people that I can accept. So what I decide to do will be this. We're going to have Zoom meetings. That is an experience gift that you can give to yourself, okay? And this has nothing to do with subscription or no. That's not a, not a thing. That's a one time, like say, I like to, to join once, to learn with more details, to be with me in a Zoom meeting, ask me questions, you know, and get a lot. Or I want to be in two Zoom meetings or in three. 
you it's a product that you can purchase in my shop when you do that you will join our zoom meeting and we will receive the piece that we will be making in your home okay you just pay shipping as normal as in the shop so like that's it <laughs> so what what is about this i love because it's relaxing it's a super fun time you can see the samples get the tips the tricks you know to get started there is no right or wrong there is no rules to follow that's very important there is no rules but you can learn some tips and things to get more, you know, how can I say, do a better finishing, right? Or so, for example, June that is excited to do with a senior senior group, maybe can learn some things to work in a group, ask me questions. We're going to be together for one hour and a half, two hours uh, during that meeting. So there's plenty of time for us to have fun. And you may finish, may not. But the intention is that we are in a group that is together, right? And the goal is that you can have fun, connect with our inner child, and allow ourselves, you know, to do something that is not straight in it. So that's super fun. <clears throat> so my idea is that you can try, learn, and then, you know, even have fun time with your grandkids, your kids, if you want such great time to make memories, okay? And sometimes I'm worried that when we are doing cartonage with kids, we have the rotary cutter, we have things like that. So maybe you want the experience with your family, your grandkids, but that sometimes making a box is too much for them. So this will be something that they will love for sure, you, you know, make them super happy. But again, it's not just for kids, okay? First of all, it's for us. <laughs> And uh, so that is the circle product in the shop. I will show the shop, but in the shop I have now bisque, ceramic bisque collection. And the first one will be this, that is a circle product, okay? So you can, when you join, it means you're gonna receive the link for the Zoom meeting one day prior, and we're gonna ship the, the in the first one we're gonna be making is the little, the peacock. It's so fun. There's a lot we can learn in this simple piece. So that's the first meeting on August 8th, okay? And then we can have other meetings, other projects, and you choose if you want to join or not, okay? And it's up to you. Uh, can we get our own piece? Yes, Katie, you can uh, You can buy your, your piece um, separate, okay? If you want, for example, uh, to do something else in this meeting, of course you can, right? You can. It's just that, for example, if you buy that, I'm not sure I have in stock, okay? So when you are buying this, you're gonna, you will receive this piece. Whether you make with us or later, you will receive that with the product, okay? Hey, Patty, just sign up. Looks fun. Great. Thank you very much. We have an, I cannot wait. That will be so fun. And then I, uh, our Zoom meetings will be around this time here, starting at 1.30, most likely until 3 p.m. And those are the ones I'm thinking now, but we can maybe change this if uh, like the others want to repeat the meeting and have different, let's see. So one I, I have prepared so far is the Peacock for the August 8th. And then I think in October, we can make the J. Cole Lantern, right? Because then we are in October, it's so fun for that in november i think we can do or the angel or the santa i'm not completely sure yet but um i think the angel right uh I, we may be able to do or one or another i'll have to finish the santa first to make sure that we can interchange or do or one or another okay <laughs> so that's 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 what i decide to think it's a I said, okay, that's a, that's a way that I feel comfortable that I can share with some of you that want really want to do that in uh, with us and have fun during this time and then share. And then, of course, if you join this meeting, uh, you're gonna receive the piece to make at home, and after the meeting, you're gonna receive the replay, right, the recording. So if later you can watch again, if you want some tips or tricks or forgot something, you can come back and look at that. Okay, very nice. So now let me show, let me show here where you find this in the shop. And then I have one more thing to tell you about the club that I forgot that I was supposed to, to say in the beginning, but I didn't. So I have one more thing to say, or 
two or maybe two or three things about the club that I would really love to share with you. So when you go to the shop, okay, when you go to the shop, we have now shop, you will find here ceramic bisque, okay, and here is all the pieces that I have already now available in the shop, so we have a few pieces, basically this that I showed to you, I haven't done this big angel yet, in the center, I don't have this, the, I didn't made the sample yet, some of them you can see pictures here, and this is the circle, so we're going to be doing the peacock the first time. It's $27. You can join. You're going to join the meeting with us, have lots of fun. And that's my invitation for you. Okay. So here is where you go and see about that. Now, any question? Any questions so far? Let me know. Let me know your, your thoughts or you know any question you may have and then i just want to give you one more thing about the club that i want to tell you nope okay now what i want to tell you about the club uh i don't know if you we have i see here we have lots of members of our cartonage club here so if you didn't hear in our Zoom meetings, our points, you know, members of the club, they are part of the awesome plan. I give points every six months as my gift, right? 30 off in the shop every six months. And every month receive the points according with what they pay, right? So I just want to make sure that you know that I'm changing this way of giving the points. So it's not, I'm not giving every six months anymore. I'm giving every month some part of that, you know. So at the end of six months, you're going to still have your $30 off. You have the choice to use your discount whenever you want or just leave it there accumulating, right? So when you have a bigger discount, you can use a bigger discount or not. It's really completely up to you, okay? Well, and what else I have to say, if you have any friends or if you want to or are curious to so, to see how it is inside our cartonage club, uh, I decided right now that for, my, for our awesome plan that is uh, our plan that includes all the benefits for the shop, discounts and and points and all those stuff uh for now if someone wants to join us in the club we you can pay less for the first month just to chat to see to try to see how this goes right and then if you decide to stay with us after that it goes to the normal price where in the awesome plan we are now 27.99 and uh and if not, if you after this month, if you feel I didn't like much or this is not for me, I tried and then I don't know, you can just cancel and that's okay. But then you have the opportunity to pay less for the first month, month so you can just go and try. Okay, I will put the, the link in the uh, in the email that I will pass um, that I will send after for this uh, to use this or just go to the Joyful Cartonage Club and use the coupon code happy gluing to get the discount but i'll give you the link that is easier you just click on the link and you go directly to that okay yes hey carol glad to see you here very nice very nice thank you thank you thank you and another thing that i want to really to do soon um, is in our website we have a page for the classes and there's a calendar there for local classes and there is a calendar. Now I'm going to start updating that calendar with classes, cartonage classes that you have. We have from our, our, our certified teachers from here for us. And I also will put some events there that we, uh, so I want this calendar to show up out that we have like Zoom meetings, like this new Zoom meeting, Zoom meeting for the club and all those things all together in the same calendar to be a little easy for us to just visualize there. Okay, now we have one more person helping us in the in the shop. So I think our team is kind of complete now. So we can really do a lot, a lot more. And if you are one of the um, certified teachers, like waiting to be a certified teacher, 
uh, what, and our meeting will be, I will send information tomorrow about our new meeting for approving certified teachers, okay? So look for that in your email tomorrow. Let me see here some questions. Understand that you can purchase the BISC pieces separately. Uh -huh. By how do you enroll to attend Zoom meeting and also receive the BISC piece? Are they two separate steps? Oh, yes. Thank you, Lynn. Yes. No, it's not. For the, the, the Zoom meeting with the piece of the month, it's just this, you buy the circle, right? That product that's called circle. That you buy that, you receive your, your BISC at home. Uh, and for... Or if you don't want this, there's just pieces that you can buy separate and that's it, okay? And then you, you will um, just have fun. As I said, it's super simple. If you want to be so do super simple, you can start by your own. If you're a member of the club, as I said, I'm going to give more uh, simple things during our Zoom meeting, but I will not take so long because I know there is not so many interested in that, I think, right? So let's, that's why I said, let's create a circle or something that is really those that are interested, we are together and we can have fun with that, right? Okay, thank you very much. Any other question or any other thing? Okay. Okay, very good. Oh, I have, I don't know if you check, remember when you go to the our shop, I, was, I will also check our new fabrics, right? We have several new fabrics added there, and the best way to find the fabrics, if you want new fabrics in the shop, go to the shop fabrics, right? And then they are in order of what we received. So I don't know if you saw, let me show you, I have to show this for you. So I don't know if you saw the new Tula Pink uh, Deja Vu fabrics that we have now in the shop, okay? That's really, really nice. Super fun. I bought some that are coordinating, so I really want to make a box soon with them. And what I have to tell you, I saw this fabric online, but I, let me give you one, one advice, because they are selling by the yard, I bought this by the yard, but this is not the yard because if I cut in yard or half yard, I will cut this like this in half, and I don't want that. So I decided to do in uh, panels. So we are in our shop, we are selling this in panel. So we will not receive this cut in half. You're going to receive like this, and then, you know, uh, two, two rows. So it's six faces in each of them in case you. In case you like, I know Tula Pink is the sort of thing that love or hate or something like this, right? <laughs> but that's what that's what we have. And then I also have, I know it's kind of weird to have Christmas now. Let's say Christmas in July, but I did that because one of the things that I'm I'm planning and testing behind the scenes is for Christmas. So that's why I had to have some fabrics for Christmas. Look at this. This is what Donna used in the, in the little tree. She cut the ornaments and glue all around the ornaments. So really fun. I love this, really love this tree. I have to show those. This one here, so delicate for Christmas, right? With the, the music and this other one right here. So this is really good. nice, super nice. I love it. And um, so when I'm done with the Christmas project, I will show you. I think that will be very nice. And here is another one that is fun. I always look for something to, for tea. And I think boxes with, you know, tea fabric that can be really nice. So this is where I, I also get there. And I have a few Brazilian ones, but I will not even show here because I show already. <laughs> already in the members day and i know that we will sell like this because unfortunately at this time i didn't went to brazil to find or really buy you know uh things but this for, for example the the fabric on the angel that i love it i when i saw i i, I just had to buy <laughs> so i bought just a, a few like uh meters right in brazil it's not yards it's meters so when it's available i let you know uh, but I'm looking forward to, I'm still trying to find a way of getting more of those beautiful fabrics easy here, but it's not, it's not, it's just really complicated to bring Brazilian fabric to here. It's not easy to the exportation or something, right? 
No, that's okay. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, the, the, the fabric, the Christmas is really nice. Okay, very good. Glad to, that I will see you in our Zoom meeting on August 8th. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, my friends, that's it today. It's a little bit of my story behind, okay? Just as I said, it was something really that I simply had to do. And now you are invited if you want to have more fun and have fun with us and, and join us in this new adventure of Gooey Fabric, just feel free to do it, okay? Or if you decide to try by your own, as I said, just a simple vase that you can uh, purchase and start playing, it's it's good for you to feel if you like or not, okay? And um, if you decide to join us, the product is in the shop. And if you have any questions, just let me know, okay? Also, to make uh, sure that everybody is in the same page, now in the website, colorayarts.com, we have a page, contact us. Where is the easiest way for make any question for us and we can really answer to you as soon as we can, okay? Okay, my friends. So thank you so much. Hope you, I had inspired you at least a little bit today. And I will see you another time with more gluing, fun gluing stuff. Okay, because I'm still behind the scenes here. I have the cardinage new things going on. And I have two other small things, gluing ones as well. There are not ceramic as paper, and now that we are used to, okay, it's really related to cartonage, but it's not box, for example. But there are simple things that also I will share with you very soon. Okay, thank you very much. See you. Bye bye. Have a good weekend.